What's up, YouTube? Dark Lord Diablos coming at you with another Yu Gi Oh deck profile. This is what I call Armed Thunder. And this is basically an Armed Dragon OTK deck that just I accidentally created out of thin air one day. It's. And I will say that it's fucking interesting. So the basis of this deck is surprisingly surrounded by two cards for this OTK. You want to get Overlord, uh, Allies Rebellion Overlord on the field and equipped it with Stoic Challenge. Now the way this works is Stoic Challenge gives 600 attack for each Xyz material attached to a monster you control. This is going to have at least three Xyz materials and it's going to go up to 4800. The other beneficial effect that this gives is it doubles an attack point, it doubles the attack points to a monster that it's equipped to. Well, it doubles the battle damage, sorry. It doubles the damage involving battles with said monster. But the problem is, its effects are negated. And you only have this for one turn. And at the end phase, another downside, you destroy this card and the card that was equipped to it. So 4800 and it can do double battle damage when it attacks monsters. How can you OTK with this? Well you see the way Yu-Gi-Oh's mechanics work is it negates the active effects for all the activated effects for a card. Not the effects that are currently active. For example, this could just passively attack three times. If it has an rank 7 Xyz monster, it has material. <laughs> so, the fun way to get the win you can get with this is you get two level 7s, which this deck can facilitate real easy, which we'll show, which is why I'm using the Arm Dragon engine. Xyz into Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, go into Overlord, we have a hidden armory. So we can search out Stoic Challenge. Equipped it with Stoic Challenge. Attack into three attack position monsters. That's 4,800. It can get over anything. Unless for some reason they have like five-headed dragon or any monster with 5,000 attack on field. And literally just obliterate the opponent within one or two attacks. Because again, it does double battle damage. That's the main focus of the deck. But of course, since this is a armed dragon deck, we do have backups like Thunder Arm Dragon level 10, my favorite card in the deck, Dragoonity Arm Graham, and the focus as monsters as well. So does Arm Dragon White, or Arm Dragon level 10 White, focuses as a great monster, which is why we run another equip spell, White Veil. We we'll also run Solitary Sword of Poison, because it's down effect is not really that bad. Equip to a, mo to a monster you control. If the equipped monster battles an opponent's monster, the equipped monster's original attack and defense is doubled during gaming calculation only. If you control other monster equipped with this, send this card. If you control another monster other than the equipped monster, send this card you control to the graveyard. Sometimes you're probably just sitting on one of these monsters occasionally. So equipping them with this card isn't that bad. Now, of course, to probably make this deck more effective, you could easily replace some of the arm, nor original Arm Dragon cards with hand traps. But, you know, this isn't one of those uh, decks, sadly. So again, like I said in my previous deck profile, I'm trying out different ways that I can show you how the deck works. With this go around, I'm going to go up against my favorite punching bag, Horus just to give a demonstration. And normally you kind of want to go second with this deck. So that's what we're going to do.
and see we got arm dragon thunder level and him on the field so that's the graveyard we will send level seven to go into thunder arm dragon five activate his effect to add to my our hand we want to add probably I wish it would let us add yeah there we go we'll add level five to activate level five's effect to dish level five in hand to special summon level seven activate level five to send that to our hand we can also add the level 10 if necessary and it allows you this card when sent to the graveyard allows you to add any high wind dragon monster from your deck to your hand so you can easily add Graham if necessary or any other cards but in order to do this otk you want to add the have these two cards in hand so you can literally just do this send that summon him summon her by discarding him and there you go that is basically what we want to do you also can add dragon ruler of um the wind dragon ruler to do facilitate the same thing so you can easily just you know go into your xc's monsters And then rank up into Overlord. Reason why I did that is because I know that's Mirror Force. And we'll send. Where's. Oh, it only allows me symbols. Okay, we'll send him to the grave. To pump his attack to 6,000. Battle. And this is generally how the OTK works. Just pump up his attack to get him to win. And I don't know why it's 16,000. that's generally what you want to do that's how the otk is done if you have any ideas how to make this deck better i'm fully open to them if you have any qualms on how the deck works or why i have my side deck which you know should be obvious or you're bad that i'm using um you know ocg cards <laughs> i wish they would come out this deck is just really fun to pull off Again, if you're going up against a normal match, you're probably not going to get to go off. But if you're going up against like a casual match, it's really fun to go off. I have a video where I did an OTK against a double match. Or, uh, sorry, a tag duel. And the one of the players didn't get to play. <laughs> it's just so fun to pull off. That's all I have to say about this deck. This was Dark Lord Diablos going over a deck profile for Armed Thunder. And I hope to see you next time. Like, hit the comments, and subscribe. Ciao.